What's going on guys? So we are here at Little Sahara State Park in Winoka, Oklahoma. We're here for the 250R Legends Tour. I didn't have any lights on the 250R though, so I had actually set up the KFX to do some night riding, which we're about to do right now. There's some notable people that I'll be riding with. We've got Dune Man, his name is Brent. He's also got a YouTube channel. Of course, we got Stupid Fast John, Cameraman Wes, and a couple other really cool people that we met while we were out there. So this is gonna be a pretty raw video, pretty much uncut and uh, really not much talking at all. I just thought it was a really cool experience and it actually came out pretty good. I didn't know if it was gonna be too dark or not, but basically, if you're going to be going to the dunes, I highly re recommend putting headlights on your bike. And if somebody offers to go out for a night ride, definitely don't pass it up because it's a really good time. Also, if you guys enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, consider leaving a comment below. That helps me out big time. And also consider hitting that subscribe button and hitting that notification bell. All these things help me out a ton. I appreciate you guys. over here on his warrior he built that one I had some issues we just got him sorted out but I think it's running good now and we've got a couple of banshees up in the front and I'm on the KFX which has been treating me great except the battery keeps dying which is annoying so I just can't shut it off For anybody that followed the series on the KFX, this is the maiden voyage ever since I did the modifications to it. I did notice a couple issues with the quad. Uh, overall, it ran really well. You guys can see in this video, it pulls super hard, but you may notice a slight stutter or you know, hesitation when I have it under consistent throttle in the mid range. I think it has something to do with the jetting. It could possibly be a small air leak someplace. Uh, but other than that, it ran really well. The other thing that happened was the battery has got a draw someplace. So the battery was running low and on this particular ride, battery was completely dead in the beginning so i was trying not to shut the quad down otherwise uh you know i'd have to get a jump or a push start which is a lot more difficult when you're in the sand another issue i noticed while out on the wide open sand is that if you're doing a very long pull like let's say fourth fifth gear and you're holding it wide open the carb will start to get starved of gasoline so if you guys saw this thing is converted to a carb and the fuel petcock is at a very forward position in the tank so I think with all the momentum, when you're under hard acceleration, all the gas goes to the back of the tank. And if you don't have a full tank, um, the fuel isn't actually being gravity fed into the carb. So this is something that I'm gonna work with and see if I can alleviate. But that's just another thing I wanted to make aware because I know there's some people doing the modifications that I do and I'm trying to make them as 
you know, factory as possible without any issues at all. This is a problem I probably never would have noticed doing the typical type of riding I do because usually I'm not going, you know, all the way up to fifth gear and holding the throttle wide open. That just doesn't typically happen unless you're in a wide open area like the dunes. actually a really special group ride we had a couple subscribers come out and they're actually riding with us in this group right in front of me is Andrew he's a barber and what's kind of funny is we had two barbers in the group no relation whatsoever uh, the other barber is Kyle he's on a purple banshee kind of funny that there were two barbers in the group and John and I actually wound up getting some free haircuts out of it which is pretty awesome uh, both the guys were ripping really hard and uh, it was just cool to ride with some subscribers
reverse it up that hill? <laughs> it can't even reverse downhill, dude. It goes digs right into the ground. get around you. So this area we're at right here is a little tree shoot section. We're stopping here to do a couple hills and it's probably not the best idea for me to be doing with a dead battery because on hills, that's a high probability that you might stall out. And uh, we didn't even realize how rutted out these things were. So you're gonna see a stall out at the top of a hill where I get, well, I don't stall out, I get high centered and uh, the bike ends up shutting off and it's gonna go pitch black. And that's actually when I'm bump starting it going down the hill. You'll hear the bike start up and then the lights finally come back on. And then getting back up was basically just taking a roll of the dice and hoping that the trail that I took wasn't rutted out quite as bad. So with my battery being dead, I decided to head back in. This was a great night of riding though. Uh, we, there was a lot of stuff that we didn't film. Like I said, on another night we went out, we were drag racing at nighttime. It was just an awesome experience. I hope that I was able to share the experience with you guys. I try to do like a first person kind of deal and really give you guys the experience for the people that aren't able to go out and do this kind of riding. It's just, it really is awesome to be able to come out here. If you did enjoy the video, please consider hitting that subscribe button and also consider hitting that thumbs up button and leaving a comment below. That helps me out a ton. Lots of content coming in the future. I appreciate all of you and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.